Hello, I'm Keith. And we're here to guide you through this information film from Clusion, Ireland on the medical card. This film will take a few minutes and will be divided into four sections. Introduction Medical card. What is it? Your income film in the farm. Where you get the farm. How the farm is divided. If you appeal you for information. Introduction. Inclusion Ireland is a national organisation working to promote the rights of people with an intellectual disability in Ireland. Inclusion Ireland wants people with an intellectual disability to have equal rights and to live the life of the choice and to have their voices heard. Part of the work of Inclusion Ireland is to provide information. In 2012, Inclusion Ireland received money to make some short films. These films will provide information on making social welfare applications. You're watching one of them now. This project is co-funded by the European Union under the Progress Programme 2007-2013. More information on Inclusion Ireland is available on the website www.inclusionireland.ie Medicare. What is it? The medical card comes from the HSE. Anyone who is an ordinarily resident in Ireland can apply for a medical card. Ordinarily resident means that you have been living here for at least one year or you intend to live here for at least one more year. Families, single people and even those working full time or part time can apply for a medical card. Whether you get a card or not depends on your income and expenses. If you have a medical card, you can receive some health services free of charge. The following is normally covered by the medical card. A uh, free GP prescribed drugs and medicines, but there are some ex exceptions. Going to hospital, including staying over in hospital, going to the dentist, the optician and hearing tests. Maternity and baby care. Some personal and social care services, for example, public health nursing, social work services and other community care services. A grant of 1016 if you have a baby. Your income. To qualify for a medical card, your weekly income must be allowed at a certain amount. The HSC will look at your income, but only after all the taxes and PRSI ha have been taken off. They then look at what payments you have to make, like rent, mortgage payments, childcare and what it costs for you to travel to work. There are a lot of rules around this. You can get more information on these rules at www.hse.ie. We won't go through all the rules here, but we'll give you some basic information. There is a different test if you are over 70 or under 70. If you are over 70, you must earn less than 700 per week for a single person and 1,400 per week for a married or cohabiting couple. If you are under 70, then this is what you need to know. According to the HSE's guidelines, if your income is just from social welfare allowances, you should be granted a medical card. This applies 
even if the money you are getting from social welfare is more than the limit they allow. This means that if you are receiving disability allowance and don't get any other money, then you will qualify them for the medical card. If you are single and living on your own, then you must earn €184. Euro. If you are single and live with your family, you must earn under 164. If you are married or living with a partner, then you must earn under €266.50 between them. The limit is also €266.50 if you are a lone parent with children. If you have children, then you are allowed to earn more money and still be under the limit. All these limits apply if you are under 66. If you are aged between 66 and 69, there are slightly higher limits. More details on these limits are on the HSE website. What are we saying is only a rough guide. There is a lot more information on this on the HSE website. Filling in the form where to get it. You can apply online for a medical card on www.medicalcard.ie or you can download a medical card application form from www.medicalcard.ie, www.hse.ie or www.citizensinformationboard.ie The application form is in plain English the form is called the medical card and GP visit cards. Some people who do not qualify for a medical card may apply for a GP family doctor visit card. The GP visit card allows you to visit your family doctor for free, but doesn't give some of the other benefits of the medical card, like free hospital visits. The form for medical card is the same form as a form for the GP visit card. How the form is divided? There are six different parts to the application form. In the form there are some red stars beside certain questions. When you see a red star it means that the HSE are looking for certain documents to be sent with your form. It is important that you send any documents they ask for. If you don't send documents, they ask for this might delay your application. You only need to send copies of these documents, not the originals. Part 1 Part 1 Ask for your personal details, including your name, address and date of birth. If asked you if you have ever had a medical card. If. If you have, you need to write the number of the medical card. It also asks if you're married or have a partner. It asks if your partner has a medical card also. It also asks if you are aged 16 to 25 and are financially dependent on your parents. This means, do you rely on your parents for money? Part 2. Part 2. Deal with your children. If you have children, you need to fill in their details, including their PPS number. Part 3. Part 3 deals with your income. You need to give information on any money you have here, including any money you earn <clears throat> and any social welfare payments you receive. Part 4. Part 4 looks at the money you spend on rent or mortgage, childcare, travelling to work, maintenance for a child and medical expenses. There is also a space for any other expenses you have. If you have any other expenses, it is important that you give as much information as possible about this here. If you earn more money than what the HSE say are the income limits, then you might still qualify for a medical card. You still qualify if you have to pay out money 
and you have very little money over to pay for medical expenses. If you have to pay out money that's putting you under pressure, it is very important that you give as much information as possible on the form. They give space on the form for you to give this information. Part 5. Part 5 has to be filled out by your GP. You have to select a doctor that you want to go to ask your GP. This doctor has to fill out part five. Part six. Part six is called the Declaration and Consent. This means that you agree that the HSE can contact other government departments, like the Department of Social Protection, to confirm the information you give on the form. It also says that the information you give is correct. Checklist. The checklist gives a list of what you need to send in. It is important to read this. It is also important to look at the list of documents you need to send in. There is a list Sorry, there is a list of the documents you need to send in on page 10 of the form. These include proof of the income you get and the money you pay out. These include documents like receipts, pay slips and bank statements. When you are finished, it is a good idea to read the form again and make sure you have filled in all the parts that apply to you. Then, send your application form and documents to Client Registration Unit, P.O. Box 11745, Dublin 11. Reviews If you are successful in your application, the HSE will contact you every now and again to ask that your details haven't changed. This is called a review. You must fill in this form and return it. Appeals if you have been refused a medical card and are not satisfied with the decision, you may have it reviewed at your local health office. Your circumstances may have changed or you may have left out some information from the original application. If you are still not satisfied, you can make an appeal to the appeals office of the HSE area. The contact details will for the appeals office will be in your letter of refusal. The Appeals Office will look at your application again. This will be conducted by the HSE staff not involved in deciding on your original application. Useful information. Contact local 1890 252 919 or your local health office if you have any questions about medical cards. You can also contact the HSE info line on 1850 24 1850. HSE Central Medical Card Office address is Client Registration Unit, PO Box 11745, Finglas, Dublin 11, Ireland. Thank you. Thank you.